Hey, welcome back. Now on SME Today, we have been joined by Olumide Akinola of 1403, a leading Nigerian fashion brand that specializes in creating premium luxury leather and steel accessories for the modern day gentleman and his lady. You are welcome, Olumide. Thank you. Good Thank to have you. you. First of all, you don't look Olumide, you look like a Hassan. <laughs> Let me just put that I here. heard that all the time, maybe because I stay... <laughs> In the FCTs. Uh, perhaps, perhaps. Uh, well, welcome to Lagos. Welcome <laughs> thank here you. at TVC. Thank you, thank so, you. So, accessories. Yes. First off, this is something that is quite, let me use the word bespoke for most people, especially yeah. with the way that 1403 presents it. Okay. But tell us about your endeavors as a fashion outfit. Okay, 1403 is a Nigerian fashion brand, a creative Nigerian fashion brand. Um, I wanted to note the word creative and the Nigerian fashion brand. Uh, we're a Nigerian fashion brand but we have an international perspective, okay. international approach to that because we want to be competitive mm -hmm. with the international community and the international brands too. Uh, but the terms of creativity, when you look at 1403, so you think it's just about numbers, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 1403 stands for an encoded message, and one is um, I. Mm -hmm. The four stands with love. love. <laughs> Go on. And the three stands for art. So I mm. love heart. Oh, so, <laughs> I get it now. So because, you know, when we talk about love, we talk about value, we talk about emotion, we talk about experience. We're so emotional. Uh, we value the people. I we experience it. art. So I we're giving it. it back. That love we have for heart, for excellence, for quality products. That's interesting. So we're giving it back in terms of leather products and accessories. Leather products and accessories. Yes, First please. of um, you guys started in 2016. So Absolutely. this is, what, five years five on Five years now. now, yeah. What's business been like? For the advantage of anybody out there who's listening and perhaps wants to also go into this kind of mm. uh, commercialized production, mm. Uh, how's business been like? Who's been your clients? And how far have you come since 2016? Okay, uh, well, it's been good. It's been through everything held at normal Nigerian business and everything. But uh, when you look at the, the fashion industry itself, it's a big industry. Yeah, um, if I want to take you down some kind of statistics now, you see that the fashion industry itself accounts for about four trillion US dollars mm -hmm. in the global markets. And uh, bringing it back to Sub-Saharan Africa, I think it's about 31 billion, and Nigeria represents about 15% of that, which is about 4.7 billion, um, mm -hmm. the US dollar. So it's a big market. It's yeah. not a, a small market. It takes a lot of investment. For us, we started in 2016, as you rightly said. Uh, we put in, um, say, about 200,000 USD. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, I think we value just about uh, 400,000. Mm -hmm. So we've been able to move from 200,000 uh, USD company to about 400,000. That's and, um, in the coming year, by 2022, which is next year, we'll be opening our, uh, our first office now, let me just say that it's in Abuja. Okay. And we have a, sh uh, a, a, mall, a shop at the um, Sede Plaza. So okay. we're coming to Lagos next year, even though we have like an outlet in Lagos with the DJ and mm -hmm. and some of mm -hmm. our uh, partners, major mm -hmm. partners here. But we're going to be having our own um, athletes, major athlete where we can walk in here in Lagos by okay. next year. Yeah. I'm going to be asking about the challenges of owning a business in Nigeria, but before yeah. we get to that, you also talked about the fact that the fashion industry is big. Very Creating big. a niche could be something that one has to really give particular thought to. Mm. Uh, people perhaps want to do leather shoes or yeah. maybe clothing mm. or maybe even hats, yeah. but you chose to do accessories yeah. for male and female mm. kind. Um, in deciding exactly what to go, what to go for when, it be, when you are a fashion entrepreneur, mm. what do you have to give particular attention to? Okay, you just have to basically look at, number one, your strength, and look at what you feel you can uh, put out to people, because the thing about it, there are a lot of fashion uh, brands out there, so you have to look at your own niche. We started with leather products, we started with bags, we started with shoes and the rest, but at a point, we have to look at it, what does the people really like about this brand? Mm. What are they really buying? So we have to sit down back with the management team, look at what's really selling for us. Now, we, uh, we noticed that um, the accessory, the leather product, the wristwatch. And it cuts across, doesn't it? Whether yeah, you're yeah, the corporate does. guy, yeah. whether you're the urban guy, <laughs> whether you're the eclectic it, person. You no, know, it's amazing that someone would just walk into the store and just um, buy like 20 
mm. of this letter product. We've seen someone order for like 10 wristwatches. Mm. And in our mind, we're like, oh, well, what's this guy doing? But we're happy that because people love our brand. They mm. love the artistic nature. They love the uniqueness. They love the simplicity and the creativity behind the brand. Yeah, but behind so that, you first of all had to decide exactly what exactly, exactly you wanted to push. Exactly uh, okay. what you want to push now, to the market, yeah. You talked about investing 200,000 USD. How easy is it for me? I don't have 200,000 USD <laughs> to venture into this kind yeah. of a business. Yeah. Who am I going to ask to come and invest? <laughs> Did you have investors or a partner, for instance, yeah, and yeah. how much could I begin with? Okay, okay. Now, it depends on your, your, your scope. Uh, you know, I said that we're in the creative Nigerian brand with a global mindset because we were looking at the competition. For instance, uh, if I want to compete against the Levita, I want to compete against the Gucci products. I have to mm. be very, very serious with my product. Yeah. So we looked at that. It's not because you have to start with 200,000 USD. You can start with even 20,000, depending on the market you want to um, uh, a product and target and everything. But ours is a global market, and we're looking at Nigerian brands at the same time. So uh, we started with that. And at the moment, <laughs> I can even tell you that the 200,000 is just a very small amount uh, to, invest. Uh, to, to, to invest when it comes to this kind of market. I've told you about how big the market yeah. is. Um, but um, next year, we are looking at even pushing it. Now we are valued at about 400,000 USD. But next year, we talked about with some investors. I personally, in October, I'll be leading the team to Paris to actually meet some investors too and see how we can actually raise about 1.5 million USD mm. to be able to invest in this because we are opening up Lagos next year. Also, we're going to be opening up in the, um, London and the um, United States, including France. So when you look at these things, even to have them, you'd see that 1.5 uh, U.S. is related to the market. I told you earlier that mm -hmm. uh, Sub-Saharan Africa uh, accounts for 31 mm. billion and Nigeria 4.7 billion. <laughs> now, how much employment do you pro uh, provide for people? Um, at the moment, for we, um, the management team, we have over 15 of them. 15? Uh, okay. 15 of them, yeah. But for um, in terms of uh, totally, I think we should have, in terms of production and everything, we should have over 40. Okay, that's over great. 40. And production, where does that take place? At the moment, at the moment, we still produce outside the country. Why yeah. did you say at the moment? Yes, <laughs> Why was the focus at on the that? moment? Because now we look at a lot of challenges in Nigeria before we look at the leather products, making it quality standard and everything to uh, the finishing and everything. Mm -hmm. So at the moment now, we are here because we're looking at um, in the next five years in our own um, mm -hmm. development plan, we see whether we can come to... Uh, bring all this uh, mm. uh, <laughs> factory into the country. Look, it takes a lot of money. Does that it? unique characteristic of your product give you an edge over all pro other products that Absolutely. it is uh, produced outside of Nigeria, does it? Yes, it does. It does in the sense that um, producing outside of the country, yeah, you, you, have, you have access to the uh, quality leather product. You have access to the standardized leather product at the mm. same time. You have access to uh, the machinery. Uh, mm. You have access even to the human capital. Then yeah. just put it that but way. when you do bring production down to Nigeria, yeah. you intend to keep the same quality. How do you intend to go about doing that? Uh, that's part of what we're discussing with our investors now. If they can actually, if you see the kind of funds we're looking at, we'll bring the, <laughs> I'll tell you to... to but to, it is to possible. Absolutely. Absolutely possible. Because possible. Right. Yeah. I'm looking at this in terms of job creation for people, local wow. people here, and also training local people to be able to do what you do. Giving people the opportunity to note that, hey, I can <coughs> actually be a part of this kind of uh, an industry mm. here in the heart of Africa. Yes, please. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what we're looking at. I want to see how we can actually develop value. Because when you look at our, our, our mandate itself is to be able to develop human and capital. Mm. Um, uh, our, our focus is to be able to develop the human and capital resources mm. of our country in order to create that sustainable youth that we can be proud of. So when we bring the product here, we'll be able to employ um, young people like ourselves, be able to create massive, um, not just employment, but yeah. creativity yeah. In, in the industry and see yeah. how far we can go on that. Now, just in case you're wondering, we have a couple of these uh, items on your screen at the moment, ranging from watches to leather watches yeah. to steel watches yeah. uh, and also uh, mm. uh, bracelets, mm. chains, even pens. Yeah. I've never understood why a pen is so important to a businessman, <laughs> but is. apparently you've <laughs> taken that on and started to produce um, for the Nigerian market. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Well, I congratulate the efforts that you are Thank putting you. in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and I look forward to when we would have all that production here in Nigeria to create yes, more please. jobs for Thank people. You.
Uh, and I'm also sure that you intend to train. Well, it yeah, goes sure. without saying. Yeah, sure. We train because we call with the experts. We call with the mm -hmm. professionals around here. We're going to train our people oh, that is... on how to use the machines yeah. and how to even uh, work on some yeah. of these things. So. Well, Olumide, that's fantastic what you do at 1403. Thank I love you. art. <laughs> I know. Art, and yeah. uh, we look forward to many more uh, yeah. achievements with your brand. Thank you. Thank you. And that would be it for our SME segment. We're hoping that you were able to grab one or two leads there that you could use and maybe even follow 1403 and they'll be able to make you advance in your business if this is what you'd like to do.